Thanks team for the time here to demonstrate how the augmented reality tool can be put to use in your day-to-day -day routines. I'm Brian Heft and I manage the digital implementation for IES, which includes XR, XR being AR, VR, and MR, that is augmented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality. I'm based remotely in Washington State in the US, and we're working closely with LSG, Life Sciences Solutions Group, and MSD, Materials and Structural Analysis Division, to lead the way in presenting a unified front for a single thermal fissure platform, both internally and externally. For today's session, I have invited a couple of colleagues to help me with this demo in which we will showcase our augmented reality tool. Second level technical support specialist, Phil Dobbin, who is based in the Hemel Hempstead office in the UK, and senior manager, John Jameson, who is based remotely in Colorado in the US. So let's imagine a situation in which we have a field engineer at a customer site. Let's say that this person is having a problem and has reached out for support in the usual fashion. Phil has agreed to simulate an engineer at a customer site with a problem. But if you know anything about Phil, he's actually more likely to be providing help to someone else than he is to be requesting help. As we run through this demo, please make note of any questions you may have and we can answer them after we finish the demo. Phil, can you hear me? Sure can. Great. So while Phil has connected to us via WebEx, we are speaking with him via his Thermo Fisher iPhone, just like an engineer might be in touch with our technical support team. We'll be using very simple examples of problems in this demo. So Phil, what's the problem that you're having? I can't manage to purge my U3000 pump. Okay, so Phil, I think that if I can see your instrument system, I can better help you. Can we please connect up with the AR tool? Yes, sure can. Great, please launch your Rescue Ones mobile app on your iPhone and I'll generate an access code for me to connect to you. As you can see here in what is called the technician console, I'm creating the ticket through which I can help Phil. Phil, let's imagine that you're the first person in all of the EMEA using the new Cloud for Service platform. What is your C4S service ticket number? One, two, three, four, five. Thanks, Phil. Okay, so the access code for you is 703 Now that Phil has entered the single use code into his mobile app, you can see here that Rescue Lens is connecting to him. I can now complete the connection and we'll be able to see directly through Phil's iPhone camera lens. We can additionally hear him through that same mobile device. Great. Phil, please flip your camera around and say hi to the nice folks out there in IES TV land. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Phil. Please redirect your camera back to your system. You know, Phil, that's a fairly complex problem. I'm, I'm out of my depth here, so I need to transfer the session to someone else with greater expertise than what I have. Now, John has agreed to participate in our simulation. John is already connected to us via WebEx, but let's imagine that I've just now enacted a three-way phone call with him. John, can you hear me? I sure can. Great, so we have a service engineer at a customer site Okay. Uh, Phil urgently needs to know how to purge a U3000 pump. Turns out, I don't know how to do that. Can you please help us? Yeah, I, I definitely can. Thanks, John. I'm going to transfer to you the AR tool session that I already have going with Phil. It is a Rescue Lens mobile app session. As you can see on the screen here via WebEx, John is now connecting to Phil. John, can you see Phil's U3000 system? Yes, I can. Great. Phil, please hold your camera steady for us. 
or John could alternatively freeze the camera stream from his own computer. John, please use vocal instructions and augmented reality markup to direct Phil how to purge his U3000 pump. Okay, Phil, what seems to be the problem? I just can't make the pump purge. You know, every time I try to hit the menu, nothing's working. Ah, I, okay, I see your issue. Um, rather than use your finger, what you want to do is grab this stylus down here and use the magnetic tip of it to press those same buttons you were trying to press with your finger. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, a menu. Yep, so you always want to make sure you use the stylus when you're trying to work through the screens. Ah, uh, so easy. So easy now. Thank you, John. Perfect, perfect. Phil, does that solve your problem? Well, it solves that problem, but I also have another problem as well. Where I don't know how to back up a, a CMBX to create a data file I can export. Can you help with that as well, well John? I, yeah, yeah. How lucky is that, Phil? I'm sure that John can help you with that too. So, Phil, please set your camera aside, leaving it at the ready in case we need to see your instrument system again. John can okay. actually pause that, that session and can start another augmented reality tool session with you so that he can see and control your computer. So, Phil, please type into your URL address line of your web browser, support.me, and press enter. And then John will read to you a different single-use code. Okay, that's ready, John. Yeah, Phil, I'm generating the code right now. And the PIN code you need to enter is 422. 422. 376. 376. So as you can see on screen, John is enacting another session with Phil. This one for Rescue Standard is to connect to the computer driving his customer's instrument system. So please note that, one, we now have two different sessions going simultaneously with Phil. Two, we can toggle back and forth between the sessions as needed. And three, in an actual situation, we wouldn't be using WebEx. But for Rescue Standard sessions, we can simultaneously collaborate with up to 10 support experts without transferring the Rescue Standard session. So, John, uh, please use your controls on screen through the remote control capabilities to instruct Phil and the rest of us how to uh, export a CMBX file. Sounds good. Uh, let me connect up to Phil's system here. Phil, would you mind uh, minimizing those windows for me so okay. that I can see the chameleon? Excellent. Is that highlighted uh, sequence the one that you want to back up? I would like to. Yes, please. I need to send sure. it to the factory. Sure. Easy enough. Uh, so since you already have it highlighted, go up to the file menu at the top of the screen. Okay. Drop down and choose the send to option. Okay. And now you can select uh, the directory where you want to save it um, to. Okay. And once you do that, go ahead and uh, click Save and uh, start, and it'll create a Chromelium backup file for you, which you can then send off to whomever you need it to. Fantastic. That's, that's gone already. That was so easy. Thank you. Great. Phil, does that solve all of the issues that you're having today? Yes, it sure does. Perfect. I'm glad that we got you back up and running so quickly. And thank you, John, for stepping in here. Incidentally, mm -hmm. I could have dropped off the support call after simply transferring the augmented reality tool ticket to John, and he could have also started the separate rescue standard session. That way I could tackle other issues that are within my skill set. That concludes our prepared demo.